old man, can't you see that I've got somewhere to be? I have an important interview to get to. Hey, hello? What part of hurry up don't you understand? I have an important interview to get to. Do you understand me? Hey, hey, hello? What are you, senile? Why are you out here by yourself anyway? Hello? Why are you even out here on your own? Let's go, move it, move it, Let's move it, matter? move it. What's the matter, what's wrong? Grandpa, are you okay? But this is your grandfather? Yeah, I was driving him. Well, you need to put him in a home or something because he's obviously senile. He is not responding to anything I'm saying. He's hard of hearing, he's an old man. Well, he's not respecting the fact that I have somewhere that I need to be. He's moving slower than a snail. He can't move quickly, he has arthritis. I don't care, I need to park my car. Excuse me, ma'am, can't you just park somewhere else? There's plenty of spots. I'm not parking in the back. Who do you think I am? You need to show some more respect for an elderly man. <laughs> well, he obviously doesn't have respect for the fact that I have an important interview to get to. I'm interviewing with the CEO of that huge company up there. He obviously has no idea what it is to have real responsibilities. I can't believe you would make that kind of assumption about someone you've never even met. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. I'm just gonna leave my car here. I don't care if it blocks you in. You know, you better hope that I get this job. You definitely will not be getting this job. Excuse me? I said, you definitely will not be getting the job. Trust me, I would know. <clears throat> Why is that? I'm Ethan Johnson. I'm the CEO of this company. And this is my grandfather, Louis Johnson. Did I ring a bell? Oh my gosh. Oh, sir. Oh, I'm such a fan. Oh, you've inspired me so much. I hope that we can forget all about this little misunderstanding. <laughs> Um, I'm Joanne. It's so nice Don't to meet you. Don't even try to put up an act. I think we've seen how you behave under pressure. Now, you may not have the patience for my grandfather, but let me tell you something. He immigrated to this country with nothing. He may not have been able to move up quickly, but he had a dream. He worked every day to have the best shop in town. And slowly, after many years of patience and hard work, his business began to grow. And now we've expanded and we have many stores and we're becoming one of the most successful companies in the country, as I'm sure you know. And at our company, we look for employees with the same patience that my grandfather had. Someone who's running so late that they have to speed to get where they're going, and so impatient that you would scream at a complete stranger is not a good fit for our company. Come on, Grandpa. We have much better applicants to interview. The young woman thought that her speed and impatience with others were admirable qualities for a young businesswoman to have. But the story of the CEO's slow and patient hard work proved her wrong. She also made rude remarks to the CEO because of his old age, without considering that she should have some respect for her elders. You never know what someone much older than you might have experienced in their long lifetime. Today, the young businesswoman learned two important lessons. Slow and steady wins the race and always have respect for your elders.